Welcome back to Fire One on the Hill, guys. My name is Matt. Tonight, I am going to show you how fast I can sharpen my chains on this uh, Chicago electric uh, chain sharpener. Um, I kind of did a review of it and how it works, but I haven't showed you guys how fast it is. As you saw from last video, I have quite a bit of hickory to buck up tomorrow or the next day. I'm not sure when I'll be able to do it since tomorrow's Mother's Day. Of course, I'm spending time with my mother. So we'll see what uh, time that all gets done and whatnot and see if we can do a little uh, bucking tomorrow. But anyways, I have a 20 inch organ chain that I'm gonna sharpen. This chain has probably had a three or four sharpenings already on it. So the teeth are a little uneven since I've sharpened them three or four times and obviously if as you hit stuff you have to just sharpen them sometimes more than another tooth so that's why that happened but i can show you how fast it is just to adjust it to get it to where i need to sharpen it um it is a little bit more time consuming when the teeth are not equal because you have to adjust it so much but i'm gonna show you guys how i do that so this is a, a 20 inch uh organ chain just like a 72 link drive um the organ chains are 25 degrees whereas the steel chains are 30. So I have it set right here. You can't see it, it's really hard, but I have it set to 25 degrees already. All right. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark the first tooth I do so I know where I'm at. And then we'll also, after I do this, we'll compare to a brand new chain, see how sharp and the angles and all that stuff. Don't mind the mess over here. This is, like I said, a, a dropping ground for everything and anything. All right, Paul, get out of the way. Paul's over here at my feet. All right, I usually like to sit down to get eye level with it because it's kind of hard to see when you're standing up. But what I do is I get everything set, make sure I'm level and all that good stuff, and I do it. I'm looking at the time on the recorded film. And we're going to start at 210. Here we go. Oh. 
All right, so I'm all done with that side. I'll just unscrew this, turn it this way, and at 25. And now we're doing the other side. Just kind of make sure it's lined up. When you change sides, you have to change a lot. Like it's, it changes a lot. So, okay, looks like we're good there. Back up, and now we start it again. That's Dixie back there moaning and groaning. She needs her attention. Alright, that's it. So 836. And we said 210. So we're looking at about six minutes and 20 seconds, or something like that. Um I mean they're nice and sharp. I would say this chain is probably one of the most uneven chains I've had to do. Y'all saw how much I had to readjust. But like if you if you get a new chain and you've only sharpened it one or two times and it's pretty even all the way through you don't have to adjust that once you just hit it go to the next one hit it go to the next one um so like i said this chain was i can show you guys right now you can see how uneven some of the teeth are but you know, like that one's that one's way smaller than that one right there um and if you look at if you look at a brand new chain you can see the tooth difference here so like i said this chain's been used and sharpened quite a few times 
I don't know the exact times, um, but it's definitely been sharpened quite a bit. <clears throat> but yeah, now I will say, I'll say this guys, you know, if you're out in the field, obviously hand filing is the only way to go. Um, and hand filing is faster if you're just doing a touch up. But when you get a chain that's really jacked up and you need to straighten it out, there's nothing better than this. I what I usually do is I like when I my first like one or two sharpenings on the, on a new chain, I try to do it hand file because um, I'm just basically cleaning it up. Dixie, get down! I'm basically uh, cleaning it up and and not like really fixing the angles and stuff like that. But after one or two, what happens is my angles get off. And that's where I struggle to sharpen, so that's why I purchased this. Also, you know, it takes time to take off the chain, I understand that. So that's another thing that you have to um, put into comparison as in what's the fastest way to sharpen. We all know if you can sharpen by the hand, it's the best way to do it. It's the fastest, um, but I have not quite got the, you know, the angles down for me. Um, but I, like I said, every time I get a new chain, the first two chains are chain sharpenings. I sharpen it by hand, and that's how I'm learning. But if I if I mess it up, at least I have this to fix it, you know. So yeah. Um, also, another thing is if you're sharpening a lot, and like if you're sharpening five or so chains, this is definitely faster than the other way because the other way you do get tired, um, and even long chains too. I mean, when I have to sharpen that 32 inch chain, oh man, I hate doing that thing by file. And it's nothing for this, especially since it's a new chain and all the teeth are even. But I'd say, like I said, if the, all the teeth are even, I could probably cut this down for another 30 seconds to a minute. Um, because y'all saw how much I was readjusting and all that stuff. But yeah, um, I really like it. I know everybody is all about hand filing and stuff like that. But for me, it works. Um, there's nothing worse than a dull chain. And... I know I've already been through a bar on my Echo because what I was doing is I wasn't sharpening quite right because I was trying to do it with my hand and I just could never get it that way. And I was just pushing on the bar, pushing on the saw and just wearing that bar out. So I would definitely say spend the money on something that you yourself can sharpen a chain um, and you'll be better off that way. Yeah, I still, I still try to hand sharpen and all that stuff, but at the end of the day, I just, I can't get it done. I don't know if I just can't get the angles right or I think honestly what I do is when I come across when I push all the way through I think my hand moves forward or and I don't get that angle like that so maybe if I tried it two-handed it'd help but like I said I gotta practice on that and I will but right now this machine is saving me and it's only 30 bucks so the next few videos or next video we plan on getting Sadie on a saw she's gonna uh, use that echo 590 for the first time um, we had a subscriber say that they want to see Sadie using a saw and Sadie says she's up for it so that's gonna be exciting that'd be good stuff um, but anyways make sure you guys like subscribe thanks for watching I'll catch you next time